Hey everyone, Jason here with Milwaukee Instruments. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to hit the like and the subscribe buttons. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. In today's video, we'll be going over the calibration procedure of the Milwaukee Instruments MW102 pH handheld meter. In previous videos, we discussed the Milwaukee Instruments pH 600 and the Milwaukee Instruments pH 55 and pH 56 pocket testers. The Milwaukee Instruments MW102 is our top of the line pH portable meter. It features two point automatic calibration along with automatic temperature compensation. When testing pH in meat and cheese applications, be sure to order the Milwaukee Instruments MW102-Food as it includes the MA920B1 probe that is specific for meat and cheese applications. If you already have the standard MW102, you can simply order the MA920B1 pH probe by visiting milwaukeeinstruments.com. Once you've received your Milwaukee Instruments MW102 pH meter, the first thing you want to do is remove the pH probe from the box. You may notice some crystallization between the pH probe and the soaker bottle itself. There is nothing wrong with the probe, it is not defective. Simply remove the soaker bottle from the probe, wipe the probe off, then you're going to place it in Milwaukee Instruments MA9015 storage solution for a minimum of two hours prior to calibration. Next, we're going to remove the unit from the box to install the battery. Simply take the battery compartment, slide it down to expose the battery terminals. Also included with the unit is a 9 volt battery. Please be sure to remove the plastic covering around the battery before connecting to the unit. If your Milwaukee Instruments MW102 displays EB, that is simply an indication it's time to replace the battery. We're going to calibrate the Milwaukee Instruments MW102 meter with the MA920B1 pH probe specific for meat and cheese applications. Start by removing the probe from the storage solution and wipe the probe dry. I have already connected the pH probe and the temperature probe to the base unit. To power the unit up, push the on off button. I'm going to wait for the display to pop up and when we're ready to go into calibration mode, hit the cal button. It's going to display 7.01, which is indicating to place the probes in the 7.01 buffer solution. Stick the probes in. You'll notice a small pH icon flashing in the upper right hand portion of the screen. We want this pH icon to stop flashing before pushing the CFM button to confirm calibration. Okay, it has stopped, so we're going to hit CFM. That's confirming the 7 calibration. It is now asking for the 4 buffer, so we're going to give it a quick rinse in the rinse solution. And then stick the probes in the 4.01 buffer solution. Again, the pH icon starts to flash. We want to wait for the icon to stop flashing prior to hitting CFM. and it has stopped flashing, we hit the CFM to confirm calibration. The MW102 is now fully calibrated and ready for use. The Milwaukee Instruments MA920B1 food probe is designed specifically for meat and cheese applications. It has a cone shaped tip that enables you to pierce through meat and cheese applications specifically. Let me demonstrate on how to get the pH value of yogurt. You're going to take your 920B1 pH probe along with the temperature probe and just insert it down into the yogurt along with the temperature probe. You'll see an hourglass on the upper left hand. Once that stops blinking, that's going to be your reading. And we have a pH of 4.15. If you want to check the temperature, hold the temperature button down. 
that comes in at 4.6 degrees Celsius. Next, let's test the pH of sausage. I'm going to take the pH probe, the cone tip down into the meat. You can also take the temperature probe, do the same thing. Push it down. We're going to let the reading stabilize. Again, there's an hourglass in the upper left hand. Once that goes away, that is your reading. And the sausage pH is coming in at 5.25. If you want to check the temperature, hold the temperature button, and it's coming in at 11.5 degrees Celsius. Let's now test the pH of sharp cheddar cheese. Take the pH probe, pierce it down into the cheese. We'll also take the temperature probe and do the same thing. Again, wait for the hourglass to go away in the upper left hand portion of the screen. The pH of the sharp cheddar cheese is 5.15. Pressing the temperature button, the temperature is at 19.8 degrees Celsius. For additional solutions and or probes, simply visit MilwaukeeInstruments.com. Thank you again everyone for watching today's video. Please stay tuned for upcoming videos. And again, thank you for choosing Milwaukee Instruments for all of your testing needs.